This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Next topic is covalent bond. Scientist Lewis postulations by abandoning the idea of the stationary cubic arrangement of the octet and by introducing the term covalent bond Langmuir the scientist he re he refined the Lewis postulations okay so and and he also um, given the idea of introducing the term co covalent bond what he is explaining in this just by considering the example of formation of chlorine okay how it is formed by considering the cl two chlorine molecule so we can obtain the 2 C cl2 okay and you know the electronic configuration of chlorine molecule is 3s square and 3p5 okay so the chlorine atom with electronic configuration of this is one electron okay short of the organ configuration only one electron short coming to organ configuration the formation of the chlorine molecule can be understood in terms of sharing pair of electrons between the two chlorine atoms here they are sharing the electrons and they are forming the chlorine molecule each chlorine atom contributing one electron to shared pair so how we can write i will explain it okay so this is the covalent bond between the two chlorine atoms see here the chlorine atom which is having hmm. Uh, this is the chlorine this is also chlorine and it is forming the uh, cl2 here okay see here two two four 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 plus 7 it is also having 7 electrons because the uh, chlorine uh, electronic configuration of the chlorine is you know electronic configuration of uh, chlorine is 3s square and 3p5 there are total of 7 electrons are present here so the outermost electrons are 7 so that we are considering here in dot here which is we are considering 7 7 so and they are sharing the electrons and so one each pair they are sharing electrons like this so it is sharing one electron this is sharing one electron and they forming the chlorine chlorine bond okay so covalent this is called covalent bond between the chlorine atoms so now this chlorine atom now it is having eight electrons so this is also having eight electrons so that they become the stable they, then they are having the octet right the dots represents the electrons such structures are referred to as a Lewis dot structures these are called Lewis dot structures as I explained the dots represents the electrons such a structures are referred to as a Lewis dot structure so now the Lewis dot structures can be written for other molecules also in which the uh, combining atoms may be identical or different the important uh, some of the conditions uh, are there so each bond is formed as a result of sharing of an electron pair between the atoms okay so uh, I will explain you thus when two atoms share one or pair of electron they are said to be joined by a single and single uh, what do you mean by single covalent bond and uh, double covalent bond and triple covalent bond before going to that uh, Each bond is formed as a result of sharing of an electron pair between the atoms. So each electrons are formed as a result of as a result of sharing of an electron of an electron pair between them example Cl2 which gives chlorine plus chlorine so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 
so by considering these electrons so they are sharing the electrons and forming the covalent bond chlorine and fluorine this is the first point and next point is each combining atom contributes at least one electron to the shared pair they are giving at least one electron sharing at least one electron next the combining atoms attain the outer shell noble gas configuration as a result of sharing electrons they are giving they are sharing electrons and they attain noble gas noble sorry noble gas electronic configuration okay and they attain noble gas electronic configuration when they share an electron so next thus i am when two atoms share one electron pair they are said to be joined by a single covalent bond so what do you mean by single covalent bond when only they are sharing only one pair of electrons like example what i given in chlorine which is having seven outermost electrons plus this is having seven here they are sharing only one electron and they are forming the bond so this is called single covalent bond okay so if two atoms share two pair of electrons so i will give you the two pair of electrons when they share two pairs of electrons two pairs of electrons means if they are sharing each are sharing sharing two electrons okay each sharing two electrons so then there are two pairs of electrons they are forming the that is called double covalent bond so here i have to say what do you mean by double covalent bond this is a two when they are sharing two pairs of electrons this is called double covalent bond for example for double covalent bond carbon and oxygen atoms okay to form the how to form a carbon dioxide we have two double bonds between the carbon and hydrogen oxygen atom c carbon which is having oxygen 2 3 4 5 6 outermost electron is 6 okay and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and for the this one is having four okay how uh this is having four okay see how they are sharing okay and uh, sorry i will write it once again so that uh, you can understand it easily uh, how the two pair of electrons are uh, sharing okay now consider this as the oxygen this as the carbon and this is also oxygen carbon is having 
the electrons like this okay and these are the oxygens oxygen okay how they are shedding the electron let i will explain it so oxygen okay this one is oxygen okay and uh, this should also have the eight electrons here each are sharing two pairs of electrons okay so this is how they are shared double bonds in co2 and it can also be represented in the form like this oxygen this is called double covalent bond okay as i said the two pair they are sharing each are sharing two pairs of electron two pairs of electrons means one pair of electron it is two electrons so two pair of electrons means four electrons means oxygen electronic configuration is uh, the, the total electrons present in oxygen is eight eight electrons are present outermost right so here also eight two pairs of electrons means each are sharing four with that carbon so it is forming the four now total of four it is also having eight eight and this is also having eight so this is called double covalent bond and the next thing is fifth one what do you mean by triple covalent bond when combining the atoms they share three electron pairs they share three elect sharing three electron pairs sharing when they are sharing three electron pairs uh, as in the case of two nitrogen so i will consider this as the two nitrogen atoms okay mm. so two nitrogen atoms they are sharing three electron pairs how three electron pairs 1 2 3 like okay and this is the outside this can also be written like Three, more one pair. We are writing one line. So this is the nitrogen molecule. They are sharing three electron pairs. Okay, sharing of three electron pairs means when combining the atoms, they share three electron pairs. As in the case of two nitrogen molecule in nitrogen molecule and the two carbon atoms in the ethane molecule. okay and another example i will give you c2h2 molecule how it will be formed c h c h okay here uh, it is sharing 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and uh, then you are also to you are also so this is the example so here it consists of eight electrons this is also eight electrons now this can be written like okay so this is a h2 so we are taking 2h c2 cc okay and you know the hydrogen they are having uh, h2 right electronic configuration of 
hydrogen what is the electronic configuration of hydrogen uh, we are considering uh, it is having only one electron okay and so that it is sharing with and the carbon uh, how much it is having the six electrons okay so uh, these two sharing that uh, see here six means one two three four five uh, and it is sharing like this and they are forming this is called triple covalent bond this is the example for triple covalent bond and the next so uh, what i have explained you what do you mean by single covalent bond okay write down the definition for single covalent bond uh, when two atoms they share one electron pair they are said to be have said to be joined by a single covalent bond okay and when the two uh, same definition two pairs of electrons same for this is for double covalent bond uh, two pairs of electron this is three pairs of electron this is called triple covalent bond and write down the example if they ask this is for single covalent bond single covalent bond okay so it is sharing the two pair of electrons okay then come to the this is for the this is a double single covalent bond only this is for a double covalent bond where it is sharing two pairs of electrons and the next one is a uh, triple covalent bond okay so these are the examples for all this single covalent bond double covalent bond and triple covalent bond